time for more on the Knicks. We welcome in CP, the franchise of CP. A lot of mixed feelings about this in-season tournament. After the win on Tuesday, Josh Hart said that he felt that point chasing at the end sort of messes with the integrity of the game. So do you think fans are embracing this tournament? Well, anytime you have a, a new process, it's hard to accept. And I think in the beginning, it, the in-season tournament was met with a lot of criticism and skepticism. But on Tuesday night, you saw highly competitive NBA basketball. In, in some games, you had teams who needed to win to get in. In other cases, like the Knicks, you needed a big win, a win by a large margin to get in. And then if you look at the, the Sacramento Kings and Golden State Warriors game, I mean, you had a playoff-like atmosphere in the middle of November. So I believe that Tuesday night's games in can, in addition to the knockout stage will increase the the interest amongst the fans and then on top of that it's a win for the league you have new york represented los angeles boston so you have the major markets you have emerging stars like tyrese halliburton jalen brunson zion williamson to go along with the old guard like lebron james and kevin durant so i think all in all when you look at the final eight and the competitiveness of these games it's been a win for the league I think you're totally right. Very, very well said. And the Knicks have the longest odds to win the first NBA Cup at plus 1,400. So what are you expecting on Tuesday in Milwaukee? It's going to be tough as they go into Milwaukee and face off against Damian Lillard and Giannis Attentacumpo. Even though Milwaukee is still trying to get on track, especially on the defensive end and from a health standpoint, they still have two of the biggest superstars in the game. You have Damian Lillard averaging 28 points and seven assists in his last five games. Giannis Attentacumpo averaging 32 points and 12 rebounds along with five assists in his last five games. So those guys are hot for the Knicks. They're going to have to keep up offensively. Milwaukee will give them their opportunities on the defensive end but for the Knicks it's going to start with Jalen Brunson Julius Randle they're going to have to bring their a game the Knicks will need a big contribution from their supporting cast especially from the outside and they will also need a big contribution from their bench one of the things in their last matchup on November 3rd that the Knicks didn't have was RJ Barrett so hopefully with the return of Broadway Barrett the Knicks will get the win and head to uh, Las Vegas for the semifinals that would be cool but let's talk about the season as a whole the Knicks are 10 and seven with one more game against the Pistons before the calendar turns to December. So how would you assess the season so far? At 10 and 7, they're beating the teams that they're supposed to beat. They're 8 and 0 against teams below 500, but only 2 and 7 against teams above 500. They're going to be playing the Milwaukee Bucks three times this month alone and potentially the Boston Celtics as well. It's time for the New York Knicks to see where they are against some of the upper echelon teams in the East and start to get some quality wins. The Knicks are still looking for their statement victory, and hopefully that comes on Tuesday against the Milwaukee Bucks. Yeah, it'll be a great test. CP, always great talking to you. Thank you so much for joining us here on Hottest Sports Night. Anytime.